Hey, Mr. Bill here today with a super quick tip. Um, basically today what I'm going to show you is how to uh, control absolute values in Ableton Live. So when you hit like a certain point in the song, if you want to snap from like one hard value to another hard value, uh, I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, <clears throat> so here's the, the general way that I was doing this like a week ago before I was collaborating with the Fruit Bat and he kind of showed me this trick. Um, so let's say your filter is at 30 hertz and you want to get to like, I don't know, 44 hertz. Um, then I would usually have just drawn it in like that and then sort of created these lines like so. <clears throat> um, but you can see it's kind of hard to get exactly on 44 hertz sometimes. I can hold shift, I think, or um, I think it's, yeah, shift or something like that, or alt maybe. Like there's tricks where you can kind of get finer resolution, but it's still kind of tricky. Like even with this resolution, it's still like, it takes a while and it's a pain in the ass. Um, <clears throat> so the trick that he showed me was basically what you do is you turn automation arm on. So this, this yellow button has to be on and then you hit re uh, record and then you just type in the value you want and then hit enter at the point that you want it. Um, and what you get is a result sort of like this. So let's say I wanted to go from 44 on the drop here and then I just stop. Um, and you can see what happens is it continues that value. It doesn't just turn it up for that like one second that you recorded it for or whatever. So it's just a nice way to snap to a new value. Um, for certain things, this isn't so hard. Like for instance, let's say with the course here, if I wanted to go between like, uh, I don't know, like seven and 10 or something like that. So the first section sounded like this. There's like certain things like that <clears throat> where it's not so tricky, but for other certain things like um like I was saying the filter it's it's a little bit trickier. Um, so let's say for instance uh, an example could be let's say we did um, decide to do this. So the first uh, section of this song was sounding like this, and then we're using this EQ here to boost one of the harmonics to push it into this chain of effects to to make that harmonic more kind of uh, pronounced. So let's say we want the filter around here for this section, but around this second section. So let's say we want it to be 454 hertz there, but on the other side here, 272 is fine. So uh, we would just do the same thing again. So I think what was it, 454? So we would just press record and, and just type the value in and then just hit enter on the drop and then press stop and then that value would be in there for us. So let's do that. <laughs> <clears throat> Whoops, I kind of fucked it up. But um, what was it? Two seventy-two. Like hit record, and then hit stop here. And then you can see that that automation there is now doing exactly what we want. It goes from exactly two seventy-two to exactly four fifty-four. <laughs> So that's like a, just a really quick tip. I thought it was kind of interesting. Um, you can do this with CliffX. I did a, a tutorial on CliffX like a few weeks ago and you can do what's called a snap clip and you can just hit snap and then recall those states. Um, but if you don't want to use CliffX, this is just a nice way to do that. So anyway, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that tip and uh, have a good day.